What is up guys, John the Retro Bro, and back again with another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to put Cody and the add-ons onto your Xbox One. Now this is pretty new. Uh, I only knew about this about a week ago. It hasn't been available long, but now Cody is available for the Xbox One. Only the Xbox One. And I'm going to show you guys how to put Cody on here and put the add-on so you can start watching some uh, some TV. The first thing you're going to do is go to the store, search for apps like you would any, anything else you would download on the Microsoft Store. Type in Cody. Should be the first thing you see. Now you're going to see a nice little install or purchase button right here. It's going to be free. So you're going to go ahead and install that. Once that is installed, you're going to go ahead and launch Cody for the first time. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put the Colossus repo on here. That's going to get you stuff like Covenant and a few other things. Uh, I tried other repositories, stuff like Aries Wizard, Super Repo, didn't seem to be working for some reason. So the Colossus Repo is the one we're going to be using today. Now the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is you're going to enable unknown sources in Kodi. So go ahead and go up to Settings, that's that gear at the top. Come down in here into System. You're going to go down here to Add-ons and you want to make sure unknown sources is enabled. It's going to look like this your first time. It's going to be unabled. You're going to go ahead and enable it. You're going to get a message. Hit yes. And now your unknown sources are enabled. So pretty much just what you did there is you jailbroke Cody. It's as simple as that. Now you're going to go ahead in add a source. So you're going to go back up to settings. And now we're going to go in the file manager. And we're going to add source. Now you're going to type a URL here. Alright guys, so once we're here, we're going to go ahead and enter the URL for the add-on that we want to use, or the source rather. It's going to be HTTP forward slash blamo B-L-A-M-O dot T E V E R Z dot com. Go ahead and hit OK. So you got HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash blamo dot T V T E V E R Z dot com. Go ahead and name it. We'll go ahead and just name ours Blam for now. This is just so you can find it when you go ahead to add a repository. You can hit OK. And that'll be added. So now we want to back out. Now we want to go into add ons. Click add ons. Go into that little unchecked or open box at the top. And we're going to install from zip file. Look for Blam. There she is. Once that's installing, you're going to see Blamo Repo add-on installed. All right, so once that's installed and you got that notification up top, you're going to go ahead and install from repository. Go ahead and go to Blamo, and we're going to go to Video Add-ons here. And this placenta is apparently one is just kind of an offshoot of Exodus, so you'll be able to get your TV shows, movies, etc. in here. So we're going to go ahead and install. That it's going to show a different things, a bunch of different <coughs> areas here. It's going to install. Just go ahead and hit OK, and that's going to do its thing. We're going to go ahead and let that download, and you'll see these pop up as they come on. So placenta module artwork. It feels so dirty saying placenta. So we'll let that do its thing. Add-on is installed. So now that add-on is installed, and we are good to go. So we want to go to our add-ons here. And placenta is the one we want. You won't see those other ones. Those other ones are ones that got downloaded. And now here we have it. Movies, TV shows, etc. Let's try and play a movie on here. See how it works. It's gonna be if you're f very familiar with uh, Covenant or Exodus, it's essentially gonna be the same thing. So let's go 2017. We'll go we'll go down a little bit when we know we can get a good stream. And uh, I will go ahead and um, just do a quick little 
snippet so we don't get hit with that copyright claim. We'll try Spider-Man Homecoming. This one I know for sure has a good stream. Yeah, we got some HD streams we can see, so that's pretty cool. So usually when you see that 1080p, uh, means you're going to get a, a decent quality stream. I've, I've seen some 720p streams come up, and um, they were still those theater cams. So usually when you have, I mean, a number of 52 streams total, that's a good indication you're going to get a good stream here. So Spider-Man Homecoming, let's go ahead and try this 1080p one out. And we'll see how she runs on the old Xbox. All right, crystal clear here. Don't fast forward it if it'll let me. How do I fast forward? There we go. Fast forward 32. Things are never going to be the same now. I mean, look at this. Got aliens. They got big green guys tearing down buildings. When I was a kid, I used to draw cowboys and Indians. Um, actually, it's Native Americans. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. Not that bad, is it? No. So you got your new TV shows. Let's see, uh highly rated TV shows. As you can see, the Spider-Man still playing in the background, no issues. So here you go, Breaking Bad, Band of Brothers, Planet Earth, The Wire, Rick and Morty for you Rick and Morty fans. So there we go. That is working on the uh, Xbox One. Try to figure out how to get out of here here. There we go, hit stop. And then there we are. We've got Cody updated. We've got apps working. And uh, we're good to go. And of course, like anything, exit. Just hit that home button, exit out of Cody. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Cody on the Xbox One, pretty cool little thing we got now. Um, definitely looking forward to see what they do with it in the future. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and uh, share the video, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're a uh, if you're if you're new to the channel here. And be sure to check out some of my other content. Until then, guys, we'll see you on the next video. This video is brought to you by RetroBroGaming.com. If you enjoyed this video, support the channel by clicking the link below, where you can get pre-built Raspberry Pi 3 kits so you can enjoy all your retro favorites. Visit the apparel shop and get your custom RetroBro T-shirts and workout tanks. Thanks for watching, and do you even retro, bro?